I've called you together again because the people of England face a grave crisis. Many years ago, as Robin Hood, I led you as an outlaw band here in Sherwood Forest. Together we resisted the tyrant King John. When he died, we dispersed because we believed that tyranny had died with him. But tyranny did not die. It merely slept, and now it has awakened again. It's the same tyranny, different only in name. And its name is William of Pembroke, the Lord Regent. Now, the Lord Regent calls the Council of Barons to a special meeting at Nottingham Castle. As the Earl of Huntingdon, I will attend. But no one knows what the outcome will be. But if he dares do anything to destroy the rights given you by the Magna Carta, we must take up our swords again. You, Little John, my old comrade Friar Tuck, Alan Adale, Will Scarlet, all of you, together we will fight this new tyranny. I've sent to Huntington for my son Robert. Ever since he was a lad of ten, I've trained him for just such a time as this. We meet here in Sherwood Forest, day after tomorrow. <laughs> The Earl of Huntingdon, lower the drawbridge. the reasons then for my dissatisfaction with the England to which I have been called as regent. A boy king under the influence of his mother, a government weakened by the terms of the Magna Carta. That, however, can be changed. Because a former weak king was forced to surrender to the terms of the Magna Carta, is no reason that we should continue to be bound by such cowardice. The powers that king gave up, I shall take back again. The people are not fit to rule themselves. Therefore, I am withdrawing the Magna Carta. From now on, the people will be taxed as they should be taxed and ruled as they should be ruled. To enforce this, it will be necessary for each of you to place his armed men under my personal command. I ask each and every one of you to do this at this time. Lord Mortimer, you're first. Yes, my lord, of course. My men are at your service. Fitzherbert? You have only to request. Thank you. Lord Frederick? Certainly. Lord Warwick. Uh, I should like time to think it over, to consider. Are you questioning my right? Oh, no, my lord, no, I'm not, but... Uh... Good. I knew I could depend upon you. My lord regent, may I address the council? You may. I've sat here hardly believing what my ears hear or my eyes see. Have you forgotten that English blood was shed to gain the Magna Carta? Does it mean nothing to you that thousands of men have died for the people's right to rule themselves, to tax themselves, to live in liberty and in dignity. Now, the regent asks you to take away those rights, and you are ready to agree. How can you face your families, your friends, and all those people you will betray for one ambitious man? Or, if you will not think of others, you must think of yourselves. Today, the regent calls on you for help, because without you, he is powerless. If you grant the regent what he asks, he will need you no longer. And he will turn on you and destroy you. Just as surely as today he's destroying those whose only protection is the Magna Carta. If you refuse the regent what he asks, 
You'll be your country's heroes. But I warn you, if you give in to him, you'll be history's blackest traitors. You're still eloquent, my lord, but the world has changed. Twenty years ago, as Robin Hood, you gathered a band of men who did as you ordered. That is no longer possible. The men who followed you then are too old for fighting now. We are not moved by your eloquence. If you wish to live in England, it will be the England that I govern. I would rather leave England. My lords, the Earl of Huntington is banished from this land. His wealth is confiscated. Should he be found within the boundaries of England past sunset tomorrow, he will be hunted down like any other outlaw. You see how easily it is arranged? Please stay. With your majesty's permission. Of course, Lady Catherine. The regent has abolished the Magna Carta and has banished me. No, it's not possible. Fitzherbert followed me. I'm not leaving England. Where will you go? My men are already gathering in Sherwood Forest. I join them immediately. What are you going to do? What I did before when there was tyranny. Fight it. The first time the regent makes a move toward the king, send word to me at once, your majesty. My son is but a child. He wouldn't dare harm him. You must realize how great the danger is. The council does his bidding without question. As his power grows, he'll become bolder, and no one knows how far he may go. Therefore, I pledge my life for your safety and that of the king. And if I cannot redeem my pledge, my son will. Robert, he's but a boy. He's a grown man now. He's in the North Country. I have already sent for him. We thank you. Know ye, by order of William of Pembroke, Regent of England, from this day, Magna Carta is abolished. Tyranny! Horseman again? Yes, but I've discovered who he is. The son of the Earl of Huntington. You mean the son of Robin. I sent you to clean out Sherwood Forest and bring me Robin Hood alive if possible, dead if more convenient. Exactly, my lord. And all I get from you is excuses, nothing more. But my lord, I... Now I... listen to me. Bring those traitors back and bring them soon or I'll hang you on the gallows I raised for Robin Hood. Now have you anything to say? No, my lord. Then get on with it. Yes. And on your way out, look at the gallows. And remember, it may be for you. If I were king, no one would resist me. They wouldn't dare. Proclaim yourself king. It's the only way to restore order. Do it now. Patience, my friend. There are obstacles to be overcome. The young king? For one. Boys are frail. They often do not live to full manhood. One step at a time. First is to separate him from his mother. my apartment unannounced. You seem to allow bandits and outlaws privileges which you deny the regent. Your Majesty. What do you mean, sir? You think I'm unaware that the Earl of Huntington had a conference with you in this very room after I'd banished him? I answer for my actions only to the full council of barons. To you I need explain nothing. 
It's regrettable that you think so lightly of my authority. It forces me to exercise it with greater firmness. What do you intend to do? Your strange sympathy with outlaws proves you unfit to be trusted with the care and education of the king. I am removing him from your influence. No, you wouldn't dare! Can't, madam. What are you going to do to him? Your son is England's king, and therefore my responsibility. I shall see that he's well taken care of. Regent's hands. Catherine, what are you saying? Now we know he will stop at nothing. You must get away, Your Majesty. Tonight. I couldn't. I'd be deserting him. As long as you remain here, you're powerless. You must go to Robin Hood at once. Robin Hood. We leave tonight. waiting for you. Dash through the gate as soon as it opens. Thank you. So what's wrong? Uh, this crank is stuck. Well, I'll help you. Thank you. Just your muscles were stuck, not the crank. You're getting too old for this kind of work. Mm, maybe you're right. <laughs> well, I'll lower it for you. Thank you. Well, Lord Regent, the Queen has disappeared. Disappeared? Are you sure? There's no doubt of it. She's down in the castle. I sent a search party after her. How did she escape? Through the postern gate. There's no other way. Hang the guard and let her through. And put two men on the postern. One inside and the other on the outside. Yes, my lord. Thank you. 
It's too dark now. We return to the castle. the trees, the flowers, the water, and uh, the music of the birds. Will you please go? But I just got here, and uh, I like it. Well, I don't. Careful, logs are slippery. Oh, oh, oh. Well, put me down. Aren't you going to uh, thank me? Thank you. If it hadn't been for you, I... No, you're really very pretty. I could easily... Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, can't I uh, be of any further assistance? You've done quite enough, thank you. Uh, tell me, what's a pretty girl like you doing all alone in Sherwood Forest? You must know I work nearby. I'm a scullery maid. Oh, with uh, silk stockings? Very observant, aren't you? When there's something to observe. Catherine. <laughs> the woods are full of scullery maids. Glorious country, England. We'd better go. Oh, why the hurry? The pots and pans can wait, can't they? Come, Catherine. Now, what are you afraid of? Please, they mustn't find us. It's too late. They've already seen us. Were you looking for these two? Yes, they led us a merry chase. Ah, I thought it suspicious for two women to be wandering alone in Sherwood Forest. That's why I detained them. Good work, Woodsman. You'll get a reward for this. Thank you, sir. Help her up. Yes, sir. Permit me. You really earned that reward. <laughs> Come along, Woodsman. Yes, sir. Just one moment. Let go of those bridles. Have you lost your mind, Woodsman? I said let go. You'll hang for this. They're under arrest by order of the Regent. That's exactly why I won't let you take them. You won't let us. Why, you... It's a long way to Nottingham Castle. I suggest you start running. I said run! Woodsman, we owe you a great deal. I've already been repaid. I'm very sorry. I didn't know. Since when has the Regent been arresting scullery maids? They'll return with more men. We'd better leave. Follow me. Thank you. We'll go on alone. We'll be safe when we get to Robin Hood. Robin Hood? <laughs> we can go on together.
No. All of Sherwood Forest is Robin Hood's home. But you'll find refuge here while I go for him. Quaint place. Oh, as quaint as Mother Maker herself. You'll find her a very charming and gracious old lady. Begone! I want no thieving vagabonds in this house. Charming, isn't she? Open up! Who are you? Who sent you here? Now be your sweet self and open the door. Or must I break it down, Mother Meg? How did you know my name? Open the door. <laughs> Put that broom down, you old witch, or I'll take you over my knee. Don't you recognize a friend when you see one? Friend? Spy, more likely. I don't know you, all of them. <laughs> you knew me once, you old crone. Oh, let me down. And these two are friends down. of mine. Down, me. you blackguard. Oh. <laughs> now, you listen to me, Meg. Make your guests welcome. Go to the cave in back of your house and bring some of your rare old wine. How do you know about the cave? <laughs> There's little about you I don't know. So do as I tell you, or Robin Hood shall hear how you treat his friends. Robin Hood? Oh, <laughs> that black scoundrel! <laughs> Save that prattle for the region's spies. Goodbye, sweetheart. See? Could I leave you in more gracious hands? We've come a long way. That wine will be refreshing. Wine, a scullery maid. Water and fetch it yourself. Get out of my way. Oh, 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 you're in a hurry, youngster. Yes, a great hurry, to see Robin Hood. Oh, now, forgive me, sir. But what makes you think Robin Hood wishes to see you? You should be able to guess that, Little John. And how do you know my name is Little John? <laughs> There's only one man with such a big body and such a little mind. <laughs> Why, the child seems blessed with second sight. Tell me, what is my name? Mm, Eleanor Dale, the minstrel. Oh. <laughs> Now, will you step aside? Certainly. For any man who fights as bravely as he talks. Oh, with all my heart. <laughs> crack on your thick skull may release the cloud from your brain. <laughs> Hold on, desist. Disturbing heaven's peace. Shame, shame, little John. Are these the manners I've taught you, quarreling with a babe in arms? Little John. Who's a babe in arms? A man full grown, a fighting man, squabbling with a little boy. Little boy? One moment, Friar Tuck. Who? Little boy. Why, you great tub of lard. Were it not for your holy office and your gigantic waistline, I'd crack your seams wide open. <laughs> <laughs> Pass me a meat skewer and give me spitting room. <laughs> Stand back while I teach this whippersnapper how to treat his better. Well, that's Robert. Are you blind? Yes. You better stop this, then. Why? The boy can take care of himself. Have a lord, am I? Yes, a double tub. Slam a double tub, am I? Save your breath. You've done too much of it, old man. Old man! <laughs> Now a stalk or two and the boy will have him in the dust. Stuck. Care to try a boy's sword, ancient one? <laughs> oh, shame on you.
on your flying top. It's your duty to chase in our souls, not our hide. It is I who am chasing. <laughs> Robin, do you know this lad? Do I know him? Gentlemen, this is my son. Not your son! Little... A girl and woman. And you've no idea who they are. Well, they're dressed as scullery maids, but I know they're not. How do you know? Well, their breeding gives them away. Their hands are well kept, and their speech is not of the kitchen. You're very observant. Is the girl pretty? See for yourself. Go away, quickly. <laughs> it's all right. You need to go. Hey, my sweet. Where are your... Your Majesty. Majesty? The Queen. Queen? Dearie, me. And so I came to Sherwood Forest and to you. All that remains of freeing them. You, your son, your men. No one else is free. No one else is safe. Not even my own son. Not even England's king. The king will be safe. Aye, that he will. That is right. What my son means, madam, is that we will see to his safety. That so long as there's one free spot on this island, that spot is England. Not long ago there was a tyrant here. But Sherwood Forest conquered him. It will do so again. We will not rest until all of England is free. So help us God. Thank you. All. We'll storm the Regent's castle at daybreak. We'll do nothing of the sort. Look, we make a very little flame. A hand could cross us out and never even feel the burn. But if we refuse to be snuffed out... Then the flame will grow. It will grow until it brings every honest man in England to our side. And where do we start the fire? In Nottingham Castle. But we must know the Regent's every move. We need someone there. I'll go. No, not yet. Alan. Men who are given too much power sometimes abuse it. Then they make mistakes. The Regent's first mistake will give us our chance. As a minstrel, you'll have no trouble getting into the castle. Send word back to us as soon as you can. I will, Robin. Majesty. Majesty, we have taken the first step. You have my deepest gratitude. How can I ever thank you? Mistress, uh, your majesty, if you, if I could help. I'm not a lady in waiting by trade. <laughs> With you beside me, I know I'm in good hands. Come. Mother Megan the Queen. We're living in the age of miracles. <laughs> well, it's getting late. We must be getting back to camp. Good night, Lady Catherine. Good night. Good night, Lady Catherine. Yes? Oh, good night. Wait. I, uh... I owe you an apology. An apology? Yes, for what I, uh... When you... <clears throat> at the pool. Oh. Oh, you saved us from the Reach's men. Is that what you mean? You know very well that's not what I mean. But it's all I can remember. In that case, I don't owe you an apology. Good night, Lady Catherine. Robert. Robert. Yes, Lady Catherine? I... I really do remember more. Do you? And I... I didn't terribly mind. In that case, I'm ashamed for you. Why, you... Try the other cheek sometime. Oh! Lady Catherine. 
کتر It's that blockhead Robert. I could have slapped him. What did he do? Well, that's just it. He didn't do anything. He's as stubborn as a goat. <laughs> He's a devil. He's just like his father. When Robin Hood was young, he used to make all the women hate him and love him at the same time. Well, I hate Robert. <laughs> that's a sure sign that you love him. <laughs> We're being followed. Only the child. Believe me, I use the word respectfully. <laughs> I didn't expect you so soon. Your age, I'd have lingered for a pretty face. Oh, you don't understand women. I? I don't understand women. Well, you'd be surprised how they've changed in the last 50 years. <laughs> Chaos, confusion. You see, this boy could never bring order to the country. It's time we had a new, more powerful king. We dare not, my lord. Dare not do what, Sir Mortimer? But I thought... You thought wrongly. The king is about to abdicate. In fact, I've already prepared a proclamation. The king will sign it? Why shouldn't he? <laughs> Why don't you take it to him now? He's playing in the garden. Oh, but... Do you think he'll sign it? Certainly. He's a child. He finds it difficult to understand. Say merely it's a detail of government. He's used to signing such documents. Yes, my lord. He's found a Mortimer. He won't question him. A brilliant inspiration. Come. Let's watch from the balcony. <laughs> I have something for you to sign, Your Majesty. What is it? Uh, the regent said it's a mere detail. The regent? I won't sign, not unless my mother tells me to. But you've always signed the documents the regent asked you to. I won't. Not while my mother's away. Mortimer's a fool. Send the sheriff to me. Just a little more time, my lord. Just a week more, I beg of you. And I promise you, I'll bring you Robin Hood and his son, both of them. Robin Hood? That wasn't what I wanted to talk to you about. It wasn't, my lord. I'm worried about the king. He seems disturbed in his mind. Unhappy since his mother went away. Even now, he's crying in the garden. He needs a change of scene, don't you think? Oh, oh yes, yes, my lord. We might put him in the West Tower. Of course. Oh, my lord, that's where we put the prisoners. He'd enjoy the view. See that he's taken there at once. Yes, my lord. The West Tower's very high. If a boy were to fall from there, he might be killed. Well, there's that danger, but... Oh, I'll put up some bars. No, or... no, that won't be necessary. I can almost see him standing there, looking out of the window. You're beside him. Your hand is on his shoulder. Suddenly, he falls. You understand? Oh, no, I... I couldn't. I couldn't. You must. Oh, no. No, not the young king. I... I... No. No. Wait. We did look at the gallows, as I told you. Your neck would snap like that. Well, when must I... When will he... Fall. Tomorrow night, after the changing of the guard. Tomorrow night, 
I shall be king. do as well. But of course, they are picked bone. Light these in the fire, Will. Throw them in the air one at a time. An arrow is a slender mark. Arch up, boy. Ready? Throw. Did you see that? He's great. Right. Right. Amazing. That's a true son of yours, Robin. Robin Hood! Robin Hood! The king's life is in danger. They plan to kill him, the regent. They're killing Save your anger. We'll have need of it later. We'll tear the castle down. There's no other way. We must get inside the castle. They'd lower the drawbridge for the Prioress of Buxton. The Prioress of Buxton? What do you mean, Robert? I stopped her on the road today. You didn't harm her? The head of a nunnery? Of course not. We merely passed the time of day. She was anxious to get back in time for the evening prayer. I don't see what she has to do with... One of us composes the Prioress. Others as her attendants. If she's taken ill along the road and asks for refuge in the castle... Why, of course. I hope the real Prioress isn't known in the castle, Lady Catherine. No, I don't think so. The plan will work. I think it will. You pick the men you want to go with you, and the rest of us will wait outside the walls and help you get the king away once he's out of the castle. Who'll be the prioress? Will Scarlet. In skirts? <laughs> <laughs> well, you understand women. You'll be very convincing. With this beard? Or you'll have Why a not use a real woman? Who? Me. Your face is well known in the castle, Lady Catherine. You'd be recognized. Iris will be ill. She can keep her face covered. No, it's... it's too dangerous. If strangers come to take the king, he may cry out and rouse the guard. He'll trust me. I told you no. I'll make preparations. Tell him to let me go. It's Robert's plan. He must make his own decision. Robert, please. There's nothing more to be said, Lady Catherine. I told you, it's too dangerous. For whom? For, for success. Robert, I lied to you. The soldiers at the castle really don't shoot as well as you. Well, really? Not even the uh, best bowmen? Robert, I've told the truth. Why won't you? Lady Catherine, there, there are too many things to be attended to. The real to. reason you don't want I me to I must arrange for uh, disguises, the horses, the men. Robert, the, you're in love with me. The... I love you, Catherine. I love you, too. That's why I must go with you. Together.
is well guarded past this point. Then it's time to separate. First, let's go over the plan once more to be sure everything is understood. You'll take your position at the edge of the moat opposite the West Tower. I'll be waiting inside the castle. Alan Adele will be on the battlement, listening for your signal. When he hears the hoot of the owl, we'll begin our work. And if anything goes wrong, we'll cover your retreat. Good. Good luck to all of you. God watch over you. I wouldn't give much for their lives if anything goes wrong. Sending his own son. Saddle camper. Remember, you're ill. Her Reverence, the Prioress of Buxton has been taken ill and asks to spend the night. Wait. The Prioress of Buxton, ill and asking for shelter. Lower the drawbridge. Be prepared immediately. Follow me. God will reward your kindness, my son. It might be a good plan for you to leave the castle tonight. In order that suspicion may not be pointed at me? Stop at the Golden Pheasant Inn so as to be seen away from here. I'll leave at once. God! Who are those people? Prioress of Buxton, my lord. She was taken ill and asked for shelter. This is most unfortunate, my lord. Strangers in the castle. Church people? Most convenient. Witnesses to the fact that the king died by accident. Of course. They call a camel lives only in the Holy Land. Now, the crusader told me that this animal can drink enough ale in one sitting 
Did you stay drunk for seven days? That's not possible. He swore he had seen it with his own eyes. But what a beast can do, a man can do. <laughs> Innkeeper! Yes, sir. Lodging for the night for all of us. And food will eat it out here. The mutton's roasting, sir, but it won't be ready for a quarter hour, sir. In the meantime, bring us a mail. Yes, sir. And be quick about it. Yes, my lord. An innkeeper is slower than a snail. <laughs> Nixon, <laughs> you'd better stop drinking. We're staying here until morning. Why? I thought we were going to ride on to Buxton tonight. We were, but the prior has changed her mind. I'll never be as good as that camel. Are you in the service of the prioress of Buxton? For 20 years, wherever she went, but never away from home so long. From Buxton to Leeds, to Manchester, to Oxford. Nine long weeks. And now, just two hours from home, she decides it's too late for traveling. Is the prioress of Buxton a guest in your inn? Yes, sir, but she is already retired. Drink to the regent's health. A gold piece. <laughs> to the bedchamber, quick. Our men are waiting at the murder. Here is a plan of the castle. This is the west tower. The window of the king's chamber faces the battlements. How many guards outside the king's door? Two. My bosom comrades. I've taken great care to cultivate their friendship. Stay in the shadow of the walls, because they've posted guards here. And here. How many on the wall below the tower? One. Good. When you reach the king's chamber, signal me. I'll be waiting on the battlements below. And then stand back, because I'm going to shoot an arrow through the window. An arrow? Yes, with a length of twine attached to it. The other end of the twine will be fastened to a rope. Alan will keep watch at the door while you haul it up. Then you take my place at the door, Lady Catherine, while I lower the king to Robert on the wall. I'll follow after I've lowered you. Mm -hmm. Is that everything? Everything. You can start now, Alan. Little John will call when it's time for you to go. I'll be waiting for you at the top of the tower steps. I thought I wouldn't be afraid, Robert. Hmm. If anything should go wrong now, we might never see each other again. Nothing will go wrong. What about a little music to brighten up a long watch? Why not? It's time. Now remember, keep in the shadow as you cross the courtyard. With a flock of straw on the ground Sometimes eat a crust that has rolled in the dust And are thankful if that can be found Let the back and the sides go bare, my boys Let the hands and the feet go cold But give to the belly boys beer enough Whether it be new or old What are you doing there? <laughs> I'll warn you if anyone comes. Lady Catherine! Shh. Is my mother here? I've 
come to take you to her. Where is she? We haven't time to talk now. You must do exactly as I tell you. Yes, everything. Dress quickly. Returning. It's Lord Fitz Herbert. Lower the drawbridge. Lower the drawbridge. Quickly. It's too late to stop him now. Be ready for trouble. You watch the corridor, Lady Catherine, while I lower the king. down, but I'll be all right. Yes, you'll be all right. This afternoon are imposters. Imposters? The real prioress of Buxton is at the Golden Pheasant Inn. We'll visit this prioress. Come with me. I've already been there. Look! Where are you going? To stop them, of course. Don't lose your head. Wait till they're all in the moat. Then see that the king's killed. Take some guards to the tower room. Capture anyone who's there. Yes, my lord. Alan, something's wrong. He's all there, John. The 
but we captured three of the outlaws. Hold them in the council anteroom. Yes, my lord. This has forced me to act sooner than I thought. Find all the barons that are in the castle. Bring them to the council chamber. My lord barons, as most of you know, the king has been abducted. Tomorrow morning, each of you will depart for his estates and return as soon as possible with the armed men under his command. Together we shall then ride to London. Before the week is out, I shall be crowned king. The council is dismissed. Mortimer, have the prisoners brought in. Yes, my lord. The last obstacle has been removed. Why was not Warwick here? I don't trust him. I intend to get rid of him. My lord, here are the prisoners. Lady Catherine, the Queen's friend, in the company of traitors. Too bad. Too bad that I'm forced to hang a lady as a common criminal. On what charge? Abducting the king is high treason. The king was not abducted. He was rescued from the murder you planned for him for tonight. How boldly these traitors lie. I was outside that very window when you gave the sheriff the order to murder the king. I heard every word you said, and you can't deny it. Take them out and hang them all. Just one moment. I still have the right to die with a sword in my hand instead of a rope around my neck. What gives you that right? The law of trial by combat. That law is reserved for the nobility. I am of the nobility. You? I am the son of the Earl of Huntingdon. Oh. Robin Hood. So you are the son of Robin Hood. I can hang you on the gallows, but I owe your father a grudge. To kill his son will give me great pleasure. Your life is too precious to England. You will enjoy this traitor's death no less if I slaughter him for you. Thank you, Fitzherbert. But this is one thing I wish to do myself. Take these prisoners to the East Tower. You heard gold. I think you're making a mistake. Five men tried to capture him. He killed two. You can't fight him. Three days without food and water, he'll be very weak. Do you think I'll have much trouble with him after that? No. A brilliant plan, my lord. Brilliant. Mortimer, you have a long journey ahead of you. You better leave early. Uh, yes. Yes. Regent, rise. I've come to tell you that the trial by combat is to be held in three days. Hmm, so you've decided to give yourself three more days of life. I'm giving you three days before you die. Hmm. When I kill you, I hope your sword will be as nimble as your tongue. Three days without food or drink will slow up your tongue and your sword. No one's to see this prisoner. And he's to be given neither food nor drink. Yes, my lord. Give me the key when you've locked the door. Yes, my lord. decided he wouldn't die today. Please, Robert. I heard everything he said. Well, don't you realize a little hunger sharpens a man's wits?
Speak up. What has happened to my son? I told you before. I, I don't know. You've questioned me for hours. I know nothing. Let me go. The regent would... Shall I, Robin? No, no, my lord, for heaven's sake. Your lordship in heaven's no, name. No, well, that's my pleasure. No. Robin. Oh, thank you, your reference. In the old days, you'd have clipped his ear neatly. I'll try again. No. No, I'll tell you. Your boy is safe. He's still alive. What's the region going to do with him? That I don't know. I've told you all I know. Well, in that case, I might as well. No, wait. Your son challenged the region to trial by combat. The meeting's in three days. Who's fighting for the region? Fitzherbert? No. The regent himself. Ha ha! The regent. If he's fighting Robert, there's trickery planned. No, no. Don't kill me. You really believe I would? To think you're an Englishman. Yes, Catherine. I have some food for you. What do you mean? Part of what they bring me. Oh, no, you can't do without it. Please, I have more than I need. Shh, there's someone coming. He's gone now. He doesn't bother me, thanks to the region. Go to the door and listen. Warn me if you hear him coming back. to you. A line? Where did you get it? Never mind that. Listen now. The water jug is tied to the end of it. When I swing it, catch it carefully. Don't let it break. Get ready now. Ready. Here it comes. Can you reach it? Not yet. Almost had it then. Try to let out a little more line. If you'll send the line back to me, I'll wrap up the food and send it on to you. Just a minute. Here it comes. Be careful. someone talking in here. You heard me at my prayers. Bring some more water, please. Hmm. You have handled everything very well, my lord. There's still one detail that needs attention for servant. My lord. Are all the preparations made for the trial by combat tomorrow night? Everything. This man will be in charge of the archers on the courtyard wall. Do you understand your instructions? I do, my lord. Yeah, well, repeat them, repeat them. And to shoot if the region is in danger. Good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, my lord.
Mistake may mean death for Lady Catherine Allen and Robert. We must move quickly. The guard changes shortly after eight. You'd better stop. Late, my lord. We better start. There's plenty of time, Fitzherbert. Stop worrying. That's a change of guard. I'm ready. Get back. Relief, Bruce. Spot car. Good night, Bruce. Sorry, Catherine. I was lying down. Asleep? Now? Just before the duel? No, not asleep. Only thinking. Thinking what? Thinking how happy I'll be when I can not only hear your voice, but hold you in my arms. I love you, Robert. Now, here's the key of the boy's cell. I shall go directly to the courtyard. Yes, ma'am. Sheriff. 
I think it might be a good idea to have Lady Catherine watch this duel. Certainly, my lord. Faces quickly. Turn out your men. Mount the battlements. Yes, sir. Give me water. No water. Take him to the courtyard. strong enough to hold a sword. Yes. Lady Catherine will have the pleasure of watching me kill you. Too well fed. <laughs> Ready, my lord?
Huntington, will you please come forward? Neil Robert of Huntington, I dub thee knight and earl. Rise, Sir Robert, Earl of Sutherland. I invest thee with all the lands and goods pertaining to the new titles and to the castle of Sutherland. <laughs> Lady Catherine, please come here. You like him very much. Why? Why shouldn't I? Do you love her too? Yes, I do, Your Majesty. Then I command you to be married and spend your honeymoon at Sutherland Castle. I cannot disobey the king. <laughs>